I'm here at the Electrify America charging station in Fairfield, New Jersey. I'm with a 2020 Hyundai Kona Electric. I am at 0% battery right now. In fact, I almost didn't make it here. I hit 0% when I was like a mile and a half away and I had to do turtle mode for the last mile and a half, crawling at like 30 miles an hour, but I just was able to pull into the spot. So I know this puppy is down to zero. We're gonna charge it from zero to 80%, see how long it takes. We're gonna really see if Hyundai, Hyundai quoted the correct charging time of 54 minutes. Now, in order to have the car charge in 54 minutes, it needs a 100 kilowatt DC fast charger. Now, this station here is 150 kilowatts, so we should have no problem getting the maximum charging rate that the Kona can accept. I'm going to put, record the whole section, set the camera up right in front of the screen, put it on time lapse, so it should only take about a minute for you to watch. For those interested, I'm going to have it following my little speech right here hang on and you'll be able to watch the entire session we'll be able to look at the charging curve see how long it hit the maximum charging rate now this car is supposed to be able to accept up to 77 kilowatts but Hyundai Kona owners have reported that they barely ever even see 75 and if they do see 75 it's not for a long time now the difference between 75 and 77 is actually significant because the way Electrify America's charging uh, rates go is they have three tiers if you if your car can accept more than 75 kilowatts you get put in the second tier so that was a big problem with the Hyundai Kona electric and the Kia Nero EV because both of those cars would get billed for the second tier rate on Electrify America which is a lot more but the cars would actually never really accept more than 75 kilowatts now Electrify America recently came out with the Hyundai Select and Kia Select plans which basically um, negates that penalty they paid uh, it's a flat 35 kilowatt a uh, 35 cent per minute fee that um, uh, Electrify America charges and it, it it offsets the problem with the fact that the the car wouldn't accept what the uh, station believed it could and put it in the higher pricing tier. Now these are just temporary solutions because both of these plans end uh, in De on December 31st of this year but Electrify America has promised me that by then they'll have a permanent solution. Not really here to to test the price of the station, really just to see how long this thing charges and get a good idea of the charging for curve. So we're gonna jump to that now. For those that are interested in watching, hang on. For those that aren't, hey, thanks for watching this part of it at least. And if you're interested in watching electric car videos, charging station, range tests, please click the subscribe button below. Thanks. So if you stayed around and watched that whole video, you'll see that yes, the Kona Electric did indeed charge from zero to 80% in 54 minutes. In fact, 
it did it in less. It did it in 52 and a half minutes, about. So, uh, you know, nice job. And Hyundai did not over promise and under deliver. Uh, and one of the things I noticed that was interesting, it never even reached the maximum charging rate. The most we got was 72 kilowatts. Um, and that only happened for a short period of time from about uh, 40% to around 60%. At about 60%, I noticed the charging taper really started to drop off. But up until 60%, uh, it was doing pretty well, somewhere between 65 and 70, 72 kilowatts. Um, and uh, you know that delivered on the promise zero to 80 percent in under 54 minutes not incredibly fast for uh, charging but manageable manageable it was better than the uh 2020 bolt we just did not quite as good as my model 3 that we did the charge testing for we charged some zero to 80 percent in 28 minutes but on a v3 supercharger but you know that's um not every car charges as fast as a Tesla. The Taycan does really well, the Audi e-tron does really well, uh, but most of the other EVs out there are still stuck in the somewhere between 50 and 75 kilowatt charging like the Kona Electric. Uh, faster charging is coming on most vehicles. I think within two or three years, we're gonna see 100 to 150 kilowatt charging on pretty much every EV out there. But for now, this is what we have, and it wasn't bad. Uh, one thing that you might notice on the video is that uh, the car also took in, I think it was 55.8 kilowatt hours of electricity. Do some math and you'll say, well, Tom, you said that the Kona Electric has a 64 kilowatt hour usable capacity, uh, 55.7, that's way more than 80%. It should have been around 51 kilowatt hours. Thing is, the amount of energy that the station delivers to the car and the amount of energy that makes it to the battery pack are two different things. So yeah, we took in 55.8 kilowatt hours, but we probably only put in 51 kilowatt hours into the battery. There's, there's three or four kilowatt hours that get lost in, with heat, just in uh, you know the electronics, the cooling of the car as, as, uh, as the car was charging. I heard the fans were just buzzing, trying to cool things down. Down. So you don't get all of the energy that the charging station gives you into your battery pack, but of course you have to pay for all of the energy. Uh, one of the other things I want to notice, if you noticed, uh, the price. Uh, the price was $26 for this charging station, which is expensive. But as I explained earlier, um, there was a problem with the Kona Electric and the Kia Nero that made uh, Electrify America put them in the second tier of their pricing. It, it didn't belong in the second tier. As you can see, we never got to 75 kilowatt, um, which is what the 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 point is where the cars go into the second pricing tier for Electrify America, and that's 50 cents a minute. Uh, had I signed up for the Hyundai Select plan, I would have been paying 35 cents a minute. So I would have saved you know, 15 cents for over 52 minutes, and it would have been substantial. Uh, I couldn't sign up for that because I don't own this car. Um, you can't sign up just for a day when you're having a media loan. You have to be a registered owner. You get a code from Hyundai, you put that in the app, App, and then you put your VIN in, and then it allows you to use the Hyundai Select plan. Um, I'm not Hyundai owner, so I couldn't use it. I had to pay full price. But um, I'm going to do a in the full post of this video on Inside EVs. I'm going to explain the whole pricing and how much it would have been if I was a, a, a Hyundai Select member, what the savings would have been, and we'll we'll dive into that a little deeper. But for now, um, uh, Hyundai Kona Electric 2020. Uh, 64 kilowatt hour battery does zero to 80 percent charge in well under an hour we did it in 52 and a half minutes i think that's reasonable it's not really fast but uh it is as advertised that's what hyundai advertised and it was able to do it in that we'll we'll be back next week with a 2020 hyundai ionic electric. Um, the new 2020s have bigger battery, longer range. It's 170 mile EPA range rated. I'm going to be getting one of them when I give this back. We're going to do a range test on that and then the charging test. So that'll be coming up next. Hope you enjoyed this and hope to see you again soon. Thanks for stopping by.